please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hippopotamus by Geeta Dharmarajan. One day, in the middle of the afternoon, a most enormous thing fell into the white lily pond in Gulmohar jungle. Moyal the rabbit, Hanu the monkey, Puppet the parrot screamed. Everyone was so busy being afraid that they didn't see the thing carefully walk out of the pond. Moyal was the first to spot him. Hey, you there, who are you? Moyal asked boldly, though her voice came out rather squeaky. After all, the thing was so big. I am Havasi, a uh, he, 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 Kupotemus, the strange animal said, giving a tiny little hiccup. A hippopotamus? Hippos live in Africa. You are a long way from home, aren't you? Ratri the owl, who had been rudely awakened by all the noise, asked. At once, Havasi broke into tears. I want to go home, he wailed, bouncing up a foot or two. But how did you get here? Ella the caterpillar asked. I was with my ma. Suddenly I got the hiccups and I went into the air. My ma couldn't stop me. My aunts couldn't stop me. Even my strong papa couldn't. And here I am. I'm scared of getting another huge hiccup like that. I might fly off and not come down at all. Havasi said, looking at the animals around him. We'll help you get rid of your hiccups, said Muyal helpfully. And get me back home? asked Havasi hopefully. Sure, we'll try, said Hanu. Let's call our other friends too. Someone might come up with a good cure for hiccups. So off went Muyal to call the hearty log, the tigers, the bats, and the spiders, and everyone. Soon they were all busy thinking. Water, said Forest Fox suddenly. That's what we foxes drink when we hiccup. It works every time. Thanks, said Havasi. Water I love. He promptly stepped into the white lily pond and just disappeared. Hey, do you think he's drowned or something? Asked E, the elephant, when Havasi didn't come back for quite a few moments. He didn't look as if he could swim, said Kaka the crow in a worried voice. Just then, Havasi came back smiling. It was like back home, said Havasi, gurgling happily. And I just kind of forgot and went for a walk. Sorry. A walk? Under the water? Asked E the elephant in surprise. I love walking on the lake bed, explained Havasi. I can swim well too. And I can beat you in a race. On land, to, when suddenly, uh, uh, a hiccup, a big one. All the animals 
tried everything to help Havasi get rid of his hiccups, giving him sugar, asking him to hold his breath and frightening him. But Havasi was so big. What would have scared him? Just then, listen, if we get rid of his hiccups, how will we get him back home? Oh no, groaned Hanu when he heard Tejas the tiger. We never thought of that. What we really need is a way to give him a huge hiccup that will take him all the way back home, the same way he came, said Puppet the parrot. I know what. A laugh always makes the hiccup worse. Hanu came up with the idea. We'll tickle him, said the ant. We'll tell him such crazy jokes that they'll take him all the way home, said the monkeys. Goody, shouted Havasi, his small eyes twinkling. Here I come, Mama. <coughs> the ants tickled Havasi and everyone shouted, all the jokes and funny riddles they knew. Why does a stalk stand on one leg? Because if she lifted the other one up too, she would fall down. Where does a seven-foot gorilla sleep? Anywhere he wants to. What is as big as a hippo but weighs nothing? A hippo's shadow! Where do frogs keep their money? In river banks. Monkeys, elephants, caterpillars and birds were all giggling their heads off. In their middle was Havasi roaring with laughter. He had never heard so many jokes before. And right in the middle of a crazy elephant joke, Havasi hiccuped. A really huge hippo-sized... <coughs> Up he went flying, right over the banyan tree, the way he had come. Bye and thanks, shouted Havasi from the sky as he flew off happily. Bye-bye, happy landing, called out the animals. And, oh yes, before I forget, only yesterday the animals of Gulmahar jungle heard a big thank you grunt from Zima Springs, Africa. Yes, you guessed it right. It was Havasi, the Hikopotamus.